My name is AJ, I'm an artist and managing director of Art Club as a CIC. Today I'm taking over Satisfy Zine and talking about all things queer and Art Club as related. So do check out my interview over on the website at www.satisfyzine.com. So I identify myself as a gay South Asian man and my kind of coming out process started back in 2016 and it's definitely a journey that I'm still kind of going down. Um, I think looking back when I was younger, there was definitely not a lot of representation for South Asian queer people. And growing up, I've kind of seen an increasing kind of number of visibility around kind of media and kind of social media as well. It's been really amazing to see such representation being uh, being out there. Uh, it definitely has helped my process. And I've met some amazing people along the way as well. It really helped me kind of grow and kind of come, a bit, come to a better understanding of like who I am and what kind of path I should go down. Um, and there is a lot of work that goes around kind of self-discovery and I really kind of my personal advice for anyone will be kind of taking it at your own pace. You know, take it easy, take it slow uh, and just kind of enjoy the journey whilst you're going down it. Um, I think there's a lot of pressure to kind of to come, up, come to a conclusion to find out who you are. I think the journey for me has been more important um, to kind of strip back who I was or who I was trying to be and kind of come back to, to my true self. Um, so that's been really exciting. I graduated in 2016 from university with a fine art degree and since then I've just kind of dabbled with those kind of creative stuff. I'm still making my work, I'm still making paintings, I'm a portrait painter naturally so I've exhibited in and across London in group exhibitions which has been really exciting. The past couple of years have really been involved with community arts and kind of cultural regeneration which is so exciting when in my art which all led me to create Art Club CIC. So I realised very quickly from graduating that university hasn't really prepared me to be working within the real world or within the creative sector and I feel like most people would definitely relate to that. So to kind of shorten the gap or kind of create a bridge between the two worlds, um, I created Art Club as CIC, which is a small not-for-profit art organisation. We give opportunities for budding creatives who are trying to make the first steps in the creative industry. So through live briefs, they get to experience what it's like to be a craft designer, become a project manager, become a curator, and really get to experience and add those kind of experiences to their CVs. We've done everything from creating creative spaces to street art, training programs, and even created digital art, which is like in the heart shortage, which too many people saw, which was amazing. Um, and anyone can really get involved. So we really like to see fresh talent, fresh faces, to really join our team and kind of create amazing things for the world. To get involved or would like to know more, drop us a line on our email on hello at artclubbers.com or even DM us on our Instagram, which is at art underscore covers. I've definitely been inspired by a lot of people uh, throughout kind of my kind of creative and kind of personal journey. And it's really hard to kind of like pinpoint specific people because I just feel like it's unfair because everyone who has been part of my life has just been uh, inspirational in one sense or the other and if I were to kind of like really pinpoint some people I think starting would be my teachers uh, especially my art teachers like Bobby Green and uh, Alex Donohoe like they were really amazing people who really kind of shaped the way I started to see kind of creativity and art and really kind of using a different perspective to kind of think about these things differently. When I was 18, I started to volunteer for a local grassroots organisation called Make Public and Sarah Walters, who works there, uh, really opened a whole new world for me in terms of what does community art look like and how do we make art uh, more accessible in a really exciting way. And being in that role, kind of working with them for or probably like five, six years, maybe, maybe, uh, really has taught me to kind of, see, again, see art and creativity in a different way. And how do we really engage people with that? Like, how do we change people's perceptions about the work that we do? And how do we kind of get them to be more creative and kind of adopt a creative mindset? And that's something that I personally have carried with me uh, going forward as well. Uh, you know, Creative Art Club is CIC, like, a lot of the work that we do revolves around people, like we work with people, we want to give opportunities to people and also deliver kind of really exciting things to people. Um, so people in general I think really have been inspirational in some sense, like my painting is all about people, like it's all portraiture and I don't know what it is about an individual that I just want to paint. I think it's probably their characteristics or the impression that they leave on me that I really want to capture 
capture one way or another. And I'd also say my friends. Um, they've been a massive support system, especially kind of creatively and kind of personally. They've really kind of helped me grow. They've really been like these massive cheerleaders throughout my life who kind of encouraged me to kind of grow bigger and better and do amazing things. And in a way, I never wanted to let them down. So I just kind of drove ahead with it. And um, it's been exciting to kind of take them We'll be on the same journey together and kind of grow together and see all these kind of great things happening. Just like people like Lakayla Refford, who's now a massive photographer, uh, Nicole Catnott, who's also an amazing filmmaker now, um, my close friends who all work for art clubbers. And even all the amazing people that work around art clubbers, like we are such a small team, but we all have this kind of ambitious mindset and it's exciting to be working with such amazing people who come from different walks of life. Um, you know, Annie, Rosie, Octay, Archie, Anastasia, all amazing people who continue to inspire me to kind of create amazing content and kind of amazing projects and programs that would really make a difference to people. There's been so many amazing advice out there to kind of cope with socialization. And I think there's so many different things that kind of helped me particularly to kind of really cope with the situation. So being in Capricorn, uh, <laughs> repetition and kind of rhythm has been really helpful to have. And what I mean by that is not just necessarily about music, but having um, consistency or kind of having like a timetable of things to do. So working, you know, nine to five and then spending the rest of the evening doing kind of you know, going back into painting or doing other kind of creative things as well, or reading. I have so many books I've just collected over the years that I haven't had a chance to read, so that's been nice to really dip into that. Over in Art Clubbers, we created seven support steps to self-isolation, so kind of things that you could be doing that's going to help us uh, kind of deal with the situation. So, you know, exercising. I have never done so much exercise before, so and I really kind of think I'm reaping the rewards right now, which has been really exciting to see. You can also create a daily reward system. So, you know, doing something you, you kind of mean your and then treating yourself afterwards, I think is very important. I think don't get too bogged down with all the kind of apps that you need to do. I think a big one for me is to forgive yourself. I think we're very pressured into kind of making content or, you know, being very busy and very productive all the time, thinking that we have more time. Forgive yourself on the days that you don't feel like you can tackle all the worlds. You know, having time for yourself or kind of time in bed or, you know, reading a book for yourself and just taking time for yourself to kind of re-energise and re-kind of focus your thoughts. It's very important, I think, with so much happening in the world, you know, there's so much, so many changes and there's going to be so many changes even after the whole period has passed. Um, it's very important for us to kind of 